Hi, I'm Dr. Duke, Academic Director of Freedom Project Academy. And as many of you know, I've traveled the country for the last three years giving talks warning parents about the dangers of Common Core. And one of the worst aspects of Common Core is their math curriculum. Our curriculum director, Mrs. Mary Black, she's a fantastic teacher. She's taught in private schools for 40 years. She's also a great researcher. Mary has come up with a definitive analysis of Common Core math from uh, kindergarten all the way through high school. And she demonstrates very clearly that Common Core math is developmentally inappropriate for kids at the youngest ages, that it does not give your kids the basic math skills that they're going to need to succeed in high school and beyond. And finally, Common Core math is uh, really challenged in terms of its uh, methodology. It's very obtuse, it's very complicated in needless ways that are all frustrating for kids. Take a look at this short video that Mary put together that shows how uh, Common Core adds fractions and how traditional math adds fractions. Let's consider adding fractions with unlike denominators as you and I did when we were in the fourth grade. For example, let's look at the problem two-thirds plus three-fourths. We'll write it down. We would simply find the least common denominator of 12. We would multiply two-thirds times 4 over 4, which is equal to 1, plus 3 fourths times 3 over 3, which is equal to 1. So we have not changed the value of either fraction because we've multiplied both by 1. And we have then come to 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths. And we simply add the numerators to get 17 twelfths. Now, 17 twelfths is an improper fraction. So we must change it to a mixed number by dividing the 12 into 17. 12 into 17 will get us 1 and 5 twelfths. 12 goes into 17 one time with the remainder of 5, and we simply put the 5 over the 12 to state the remainder as a fraction. Simple. That can be done after a little bit of practice by a fourth grader almost in their heads. Now, let's go to how the Common Core Standards ask that fractions with unlike denominators be solved. The standard that we are referring to is 4, meaning grade 4, numbers and fractions, and F, and the second standard, the second of the standards under that category as 2. Now, again, our problem, 2 thirds plus 3 fourths, we'll write that down. However, the Common Core, this Common Core standards suggest that we add it by finding the common numerator. This involves a long procedure, but let's demonstrate it here. We would multiply two thirds times three over three from the three, the three that is the numerator in three fourths and the three-fourths by the numerator 2 over 2, which the 2 is gotten from the two-thirds. We'll show where, where these were, were gotten with our arrows. And that leaves us with 6 ninths plus six eighths. We have a common numerator. Now we have to figure out how the answer from that. We, add, we have the common numerator as six. Then to find the denominator, we must multiply 9 over 8, which is 72, and we put it down here in the denominator, over the 9 plus 8, the denominators, 
added, which is 17. So 72 comes from multiplying 9 times 8 in the denominators above and adding 9 plus 8 in the, the denominators above. So now we must multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 17 to clear that fraction, that 72 over 17, out of the denominator. So we multiply the top and the bottom by 17. The 17s cancel, leaving 72 at the bottom on the denominator, and it leaves us 102 in the numerator. Now, I would like to take a moment to point out to you that this is a very high-level mathematical skill that is not understood. Fourth graders are not prepared to understand what they're really doing. They would just be committing this to memory without any understanding whatsoever and would be likely to forget this. With 102 over 72, that again is an improper fraction. 72 goes into 100 into one time, leaving 30 as a remainder. So we make that a fractional remainder, 30 over 72. But we're not yet finished because we must simplify 30 over 72. It is not in its simplest form. So we need to find the greatest common factor, which is 6, and divide 30 by 6 to get 5, and 72 by 6 to get 12. We do end up with the same answer, 1 in 5 twelves. But look at the complexity of uh, adding by common numerators. I would like to conclude this by saying my research led me to find out that this procedure was developed by some students who were preparing to teach in elementary at the elementary level and promoted by their professor. This is the type of standard that is commonly found in the Common Core Standards. And this is why at Freedom Project Academy, we remain 100% Common Core free, and we will never take one nickel of state or federal money.